Hello again. This is where I ran the Tesla coil off of the bike generator. I wired the generator to the bus output of the coil, which in direct relationship is the output that you see out the top of the Tesla coil. So anything you see out the top of the Tesla coil is directly been generated by a human. This right here is the wire that's going to the generator and to the coil. It's a little long, but I figured it was already wired, so I didn't have to get technical trying to do this. And this is where I'm pedaling up the voltage right now. And with these four motors, this is about the maximum I can get out of it after being rectified. About almost 200 volts. And here's the first test run. Not too bad. So I ran four bucks, which increased the voltage. They're step up bucks. And I ran one per motor. And each one is increasing the voltage to 85 volts. So it would give me a total of 340 volts. And I painted the setup, at least most of it. Buck converters, they take around 10 to 60 volts and then they'll keep a constant 85 volts or whatever you set the voltage at. But you have different style buck converters, step up and step down for what you're wanting to do from whatever you're supplying the voltage with. And this is the setup in the first test run without the coil. You can see that you don't have to pedal as hard to maintain the 340 volts, but it does take more amperage when you don't have as much supply voltage. And now I have the coil set up with this to see if it's any more efficient or if it works any different. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.